Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing video. I'm making this video because I recently received a few products from a little art company called Art and Fly. Um, they sent me three packs of uh, markers and pens. Uh, the first being this alcohol marker set with 24 different colours. Uh, it looks awesome. They also sent this pack of six skin tones, which I'm really looking forward to trying out. And they sent this pack of jewel tip fine liner brush tip. Um, so you have the fine liner on one end and the brush tip on the other end. Um, this isn't sponsored in any way, they, they haven't paid me any money or anything like that. They just wanted to support the channel and send these products for me to try. And in return I wanted to support them by trying these products on video and just seeing what I can create with them. And obviously I want to try and compare them with other products that I use, especially the Copics. Uh, these products are much more affordable so I just wanted to see um, how well they blend and if they bleed or not. Uh, so that's what this video is going to be testing. I used all of the markers on this piece of paper just to check out the variety of colours that are available. Um, it also comes with a colourless blender which is going to be very useful. Um, and on the bottom, these six colours here, uh, that was the set of six skin tone markers. And these lo are looking awesome. Um, skin tones are always needed and I I'm liking the look of these colours and I lo I'm looking forward to seeing what they are like when working on a portrait. Before working on this video, I started off by working on the outlines of a character portrait, ready to colour in with those markers. Uh, so as you can see, I started off by working on the skin tones, and initially it took a little bit of time to get used to the pen tips. They're a little bit different to the Copics in that regard. Usually when I'm using Copic markers, I use the soft brush tip, so it's almost like using a paintbrush. Um, but these, uh, the, the Art and Fly markers have uh, the chisel tip, like the Copics, along with a classic tip, which is kind of like a felt tip pen, so it's a bit harder. But once I got used to that, it was fine, and it blended really well uh, for the skin tones. Um, creating, even creating layers with the alcohol marker uh, is still very possible, and it works really well. Uh, like adding the shading underneath the hair at the top of her face. It, it all works very similar to the Copics, which I was really pleased with. The colours actually blend very well. Um, as you can see in areas like the lips, where I added the pink colouring first, and then used the skin tones over the top of it to lighten up some of that colouring. Um, and using the blending process to kind of make the colouring less harsh. Uh, it, it all worked exactly how I wanted it to, uh, I was really pleased with that. For areas like the hair, I started off by adding the lighter colouring first and then using a darker brown over the top of that and then going back to the lighter colour again to smooth that gradient and to blend the dark and the light colouring into each other. Um, and this process worked exactly how I wanted it to as well. Um, these markers managed to blend into each other and uh, smooth that gradient of shading between the light and the dark um, and creating that highlighted effect exactly how I needed them to. While working on the hair, I decided to take the opportunity to try out the other pens that they sent me, those being the dual tip fine liner brush pens, uh, and using the fine liner side with the brown and the black pen to add some more texture and some more shading to the hair. Using fine liners in hair is something that I usually don't do, but it was nice to try out this style and uh, seeing what these pens could do. Um, I, I found that they really helped when adding some shading to the undersides of the hair above her face and to really define the shape of those kind of those blocks of hair around the forehead. For the character's clothing I used big blocks of colouring which I initially thought would be a bit of a risk and would end up leaving lots of streaks, especially with the kind of felt tip nib style uh, on the pen. Um, and actually it really wasn't that bad at all. It, the the colour blends really well and it's um, once dried it didn't show up as many streaks as I thought it would. I even decided to add a coloured background and test out how that would be, uh, adding the design of kind of a wall of leaves or almost like a, a wall of ivy. Um, I was kind of worried because usually with backgrounds and adding colouring in them uh, it adds a lot of streaks and they kind of take away from the drawing in the end. But in this case it worked out much better than expected. Using the markers to colour in each leaf individually it really kind of took away the risk of there being any streaks. And overall I think this added a really nice and different effect to the drawing, having a more textured background. Throughout this drawing I also used my Uniball Signo Broad white ink pen to add lots of highlights, as I always do, I, I love adding highlights. Um, and with this drawing I think my favourite part was kind of adding that big white 
border going around the character and kind of pushing her out from that background because the de the background was much more detailed this time so I, I wanted to kind of separate the two areas and really make her stand out from it. I had a lot of fun working on this drawing and I, I honestly really enjoyed working with these markers. Uh, it was nice to try something different and honestly I, re I would recommend these markers to someone who is just beginning and really wants to try out their first set of alcohol markers because these are much more affordable. Um, the 24 set is only $35 and the uh, the skin tone set is only $15 on Art and Fly's website. So I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check them out uh, and see what their site is all about and see all the different products. They're, they're always releasing new products as well. Um, they put a lot of research into finding out what artists really want and they they put they really make sure that they make things much more affordable and more accessible which I really respect and I want to show them support for doing that so anyway yep there's a link in the description box below for you to check them out um, a huge thanks again to Art and Fly for sending these products I had a bunch of fun with them I really appreciate the support and I wish you so much support in return uh, thank you again I also wanted to say another huge thank you to Sketchmate for sending the drawing boards that I'm using in this video. It's really helping me out and I really appreciate the support. It's um, it's really clever in the way that all you have to do is place the paper on the board and it automatically sticks to it by using negative and positive charges. Um, it's, it just, it's really fun to use and it saves a lot of time. So if you're also interested in checking out these drawing boards then be sure to check out the link in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to work on the next drawing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all soon.